Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Amgia Droops, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Virgin Mobile Loft. It's the first cell phone that I've had in four years, and I got it on Black Friday, where it was priced $30, and I chose the $25 activation fee, well, the Beyond Talk plan, which offers unlimited texting, unlimited web, and five hours worth of talk, which is plenty for me because I use the house phone as a basically as a, more than I use this. This is just basically for emergencies. Um, if you're wondering, the normal price for this Kyocera Loft by Virgin Mobile is, I believe, $70 on the website. But lately they've been having deals, so uh, you should just check that out. I'll have the link in, um, this, in the video description if anyone's interested. Um, so, let's get started with this review. So, first, we have a 1.3 megapixel camera in the back. Doesn't sound too impressive compared to an iPhone 4 or whatever it is out there, the droids. But it takes decent quality pictures, I must say. Um, I like the emailing feature, you can email them to yourself. Um, when you email them, they're actually pretty big. They're really good sized, and um, that's what she said, and they're not that bad. Um, so yeah, that's that. We also have the little speaker here on the side there, where the sound comes, duh. Um, on the top here, we have 2.5 millimeter headphone jack, and under this little cap here, we have the charge port. Alright, moving on. On the side here we have volume rocker, um, my up and down volume rocker here. We have a dedicated camera button here, takes you directly to the camera if you hold it. Um, the back is sort of like a matte finish, it's very smooth, um, so you don't really have to worry about fingerprints. However, it it does, doesn't really like uh, when you scratch it like that. I don't know if you can see that there, you see that? So yeah, be careful with that. Um, here on the front, it looks like a Blackberry, eh, a little bit. Some people call it the ghetto Blackberry, whatever it is. It's nice anyways in the front. The keys are a bit hard to text with. They're really small. I know you can clearly see that. Really small there. Um, we have uh, almost like a D-pad here where you can go left, right, up and down and select with the middle. We have uh, end call, back button, speakerphone, and start place a call. Uh, so let's get into this. This is the, your home screen. Uh, sorry you really can't see this here. I'm trying to focus this in. It's just really bright. This is the home screen. Nothing too impressive. It's just a standard phone. It's not a smartphone or anything like that. If you're wondering, it doesn't offer 3G. I'm not sure it does. But, I mean, I still go to school in high school, so I get, I get, a, I get a fair signal. I'm able to text in schools and stuff like that. So. Since Virgin Mobile was bought out by Sprint, their um, their network is reliable, personally. Um, so let's see here. We have the menu, and you click the soft key menu key here, and it's very easy to read menu here. We have like a grid almost. It's pretty easy. It's functional. Uh, first, we have messaging as a given. We have your contacts there. Um, that would be connect. Sorry, I'm looking at this backwards here on the camera. We have email plus IM, which is a great feature, just to stay connected. I like that. Um, personally, I don't really look for anything too high-end anyways, so that was good. We have recent calls, of course. You can see that there. We have tools and settings. Surf the web. Um, the default web browser isn't that good, so I advise getting Opera Mini. Everyone loves using that, and it really is better. It's quicker. It functions a lot smoother than um, the normal Virgin Mobile web browser, so definitely get that when you, um, if you're wanting to get this phone. Um, we have my stuff here. I won't be going in depth. I'll do a, a part two to this review later. This is just to show you guys uh, sort of a medium balance here of what the phone's working with. Uh, you have your account where you can check how much minutes you've used, um, things like that. And lastly, we have your pictures, which takes pretty decent pictures, like I said before. So. Texting wise, I'll get into that now. It's not that it's not the greatest experience, but it's easy to text. I mean, you know, you're able to text. It's not. I, I've had a few problems where I've hit like multiple keys at once and had to delete them, but um, they're not that bad. They're like a plasticky rubber almost. I mean, they're more or less plastic. Let me see. If you, you can hear that. It's like a plastic, but after a while, like if you're if it's hot out, then the phone will be really sticky. Like the keys will get stickyish. That's what also what she said. Um, the phone's made by Kyocera. You can see that on the bottom there. Uh, Kyocera is really not made 
uh, not you know known for a lot of good phones, but like I said, I wasn't looking for anything too high end. Um, and for thirty dollars, this was a great great price to um, buy the phone here, um, considering it normally costs seventy. Um, so yeah, that's just basically a rough outlook on the Virgin Mobile Kyocera Loft. Um, I'll be doing a part two to this review later to show you guys a little bit more insight on email and IM, pictures, texting, etc. So, um, one more look at the phone before I sign off here. Alright guys, this has been Amgia Droops and I will be looking forward to seeing you on the part two of the review. Uh, peace out.